And how did you find out about Web3 web security and smart contract auditing? Um, I started to see other fields that I could, um, uh, let's say, reuse my skills as a software engineer and in Web3. So basically, I Googled something like, yeah, on Web3 jobs, on which fields can I work and stuff like that. So there's a, there's a very famous um, platform. I think it's a crypto job list, something like this. Um, oh, and they yeah. had... <laughs> I know the founder is a very nice guy, Raman. Oh, nice. Yeah. We met in Singapore. Yeah. Crypto job list. Cool. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> that's very cool. So yeah, it was an eyes opening for me because um, that's when I saw that I could work as a security researcher. And um, yeah, at the time they're using this word auditor. Nowadays it's a secret researcher, but yeah, you can be an auditor, uh, work with cybersecurity. And I was like, okay, um, let me take a look on this because in my whole career, I never like um, was interested in security before. So I had zero knowledge about that. Um, and then I saw from this article, like how you could work, you could work for a firm or um, do contests. And then I was like, okay, but how are those contests? So, and then I started to read about Coderin a lot and I ended up seeing some videos of, um, uh, actually one interview, I guess that you posted, I don't remember who, but there was also a few other guys that had um, interviews with um, outdoors on, on YouTube. So I saw those and uh, yeah, that's what, um, how I got into Web3. Also, I remember that um, once I decided to do it, I saw a lot of content related to your course and that you posted also on Medium, some tutorials and stuff. So I started learning learning by there, by yeah, by the Medium um, posts that you, you have there. And from that content, I met your course. And that's how I, I got into that.